And meantime, Michael Bloomberg's $18 million gift to the Democratic National Committee last week may have violated federal campaign laws. That's according to you, Citizens United, a conservative advocacy group who told One American News they may file a formal complaint against the billionaire. They say Bloomberg gave more than 50 times the normal legal limit. One America's Richard Pollack interviewed the group's president about their possible legal action against Bloomberg. The conservative advocacy group Citizens United today exclusively told One American News its lawyers were considering filing a complaint against Michael Bloomberg before the Federal Election Commission for his controversial $18 million cash donation last week that he gave to the Democratic National Committee. David Bossie, the group's president, exclusively told One America News Bloomberg's $18 million constituted political sleaze and that his lawyers were examining the billionaire to determine if he took advantage of an incredible loophole in the campaign finance law. It's an incredible loophole that, quite frankly, we, my lawyers and my legal team is looking very seriously at this uh, to decide if we're going to file a, a, a complaint with the Federal Election Commission. This is, this is the ultimate in political sleaze. Bossy said at best, Bloomberg could legally give about $345,000 to the DNC. His $18 million was more than 50 times the legal limit. So that's about $340,000, $345,000 maximum that any one person can give. This is $18 million. This is a purchase by a an oligarch. This is a purchase by a billionaire of the Democrat Party. No, there's, there's no other way to, to put it. And obviously, this is a way that he might become a kingmaker within the Democratic Party as well. <laughs> there's no question. Whether he's trying to buy his way onto the ticket as the vice presidential nominee, we don't know. Bossy adds that if a Republican had done what Bloomberg did, liberals and the media would be up in arms. Uh, if you look at if this had been a Republican, just put the shoe on the other foot for a second, and this was the Koch brothers or this was Sheldon Adelson, the left would be screaming uh, bloody murder. They would be absolutely demanding an investigation as to how someone could purchase the party. Bossy says one big difference is that Bloomberg's funds were not donations from others but 100% of his own money. It's 100% Michael Bloomberg's dollars. It's not commingled with other people's dollars. It is 100% his dollars. And therefore, it is truly just a donation directly from him. Bloomberg also fired virtually all of his campaign staff, reneging on a pledge to keep them paid until November. Bossy says his action shows how reprehensible the billionaire is to fire his staff in the middle of the coronavirus crisis. For One America News, this is Richard Pollack in Washington. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.